Hi everyone and welcome to this tutorial on how to create and place slab edges. So we're going to deal with a simple upstand first and then we'll go into uh, more complex slab edges. So as we said in the, uh, the blog post, what we need to do first off is create a profile. So I'm going to go to the uh, menu browser, new, and create a new family. In here, I'm actually going to use um, a metric profile hosted family. And then we'll open this up. So in this particular family, you have to uh, try and visualize that the cross section of the slab is here. Yep. So if I draw this rectangle in, I'll just make it to the same depth as my slab, say 300. What I don't want to do is actually add any extra uh, width to the uh, slab itself. So what I'm going to do is actually draw my upstand family here. Yep, so we'll go 500 up, uh, 250 across, down, and we'll basically close off the profile. Now, as I say, this rectangle I've just drawn is just so you could visualize where the object is. Okay, so that's now my upstand family. So we'll basically just en enable the dimensions so we can see the sizes there. And what we'd really want to do is probably parameterize these as well. So I'm just going to go and add some parameters in. So we'll call this one um, upstand width. And we'll make another one here called upstand height. Just going to flex those just to make sure they're operating OK. So we'll change the height there to 800 and the width to 300. OK, and you can now see everything has updated fine. So what we'll do is we'll save this away, and I'll call this one upstand. Now in here, what you can do if you want to is start to create different types as well. So if I uh, basically create a new family type here, we could say uh, maybe 600 high by 250 wide. Yep, and then we'll change that to 600 and 250. And I'll create one more. So we'll say this one's a thousand high by uh, 300 wide. Yep, so that will become a thousand. This one will become 300. And now what we can do is we can just simply uh, select between the two different types in the family editor here, and we can see those types updating. Okay, so that's what I need. What I'm going to do is now load that back into my project. Okay, so we go back into our three-dimensional view. And we'll have a go at uh, creating our slab edge. So we go to the um, structure ribbon here, floor, slab edge. And in here, I'm going to basically edit the type and duplicate this. And I'm going to call this one upstand. And what we'll do here is we'll use the uh, 1000 by 300. So that's just a name. Now what we have to do in here is actually now select our family file. So you can now see my profile that I've just created there and the material that I'm going to make this from. So I'm going to use C35, which is the same as my slab. What I can do here is either pick a single edge like that or I can press the tab key to chain around and select all the edges. So let me just uh, delete that one and we'll go back and use the tab key to basically select all the edges. And you can see that upstand has now been positioned. So what we'll do is we'll go back and have a look at some of these sections here. Okay, so here's the um, upstand section. So you can now see that that is in fact a monolithic material. Okay, let's have a look at a slightly more complex one. So we'll go back to our 3D view. What we'll do here is actually start to look at some thickenings underneath this slab. So if I go back to my uh, slab edge command here, I've got one actually set up here for uh, a thickening underneath the slab. If I just edit the type here, it's basically using uh, a profile that I've generated, which I'll show you shortly, and the same material. So I'll place uh, the thickening around the edge of the slab like this. And what we can do here is we can actually offset the horizontal and vertical profiles. So I'm going to offset this in 500 millimeters. So that's now inside the slab. 
Now, the next thing I want to do is actually get a couple of uh, thickenings going through the slab here. So, what we'll actually do, if we go into the plan view first, you can see um, the slab edge showing in hidden detail there. Uh, if you go back to going to my blog post there, you'll see that you need to edit the revit.ini file to actually adjust the way that that displays. But I'm, I'm happy with that display at the moment. This one's showing me all the hidden detail. So what I'm going to do here is actually now add um, a thickening, uh, or two thickenings, through the centre portion of the slab. So we go back to our slab edge here. Now, as you start to add this in, you've got to be a little bit careful that you actually pick up on the correct edge. Now, you can see that my tooltip's telling me that's a slab edge, which I don't want. So I, I tab key there to the floor, and we'll add one of those in. And now I can actually pick this and actually now set a horizontal profile. So we set a horizontal profile for 5,000 there, and I'm now going to create a second one. So again, I'll tab key to the correct uh, object. And this one, just for now, I'll make uh, 7 metres. And we'll go back to our level 1 plane. So you can now see those objects now drawn. And what we can actually do is just pull these uh, back a little bit here. Like that. And we'll pull these back as well. OK. Now, the detail's not quite right at the moment, because what we actually need to do is join them. So you can actually select uh, one of the thickenings here. Go to Join. And we pick the two elements we want to join, and the same over here as well. And you can now see they're joined. So what you can now do is start to pull these around in the plan view. You can also control these with dimensions as well. So I'll get a dimension between these, and what we might want to do is have two and a half meters between those, and now lock that as well. So now, of course, if I move one, they both move and keep that same arrangement. And we can now tie this back to the edge of the slab here. And perhaps I want a 4,500 offset. So again, I can put that in. And there's our slab edge. So if we now uh, check that out into 3D there, yeah, we can see that slab edge has now been created. Now other things you might want to do is actually put things like chamfers um, around slabs on, on particular thickenings. So what we'll do here is we'll actually generate um, a new type of slab here. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do first actually, we'll create a, an opening through this. So let's do uh, an opening by face on here. Okay, we'll just go for any old size there at the moment. So that's actually created an opening. I'll now create uh, a new slab. So we'll pop that slab in there. Now what I want to do is actually offset um, this information. So we'll have a 300mm offset in here. So, oops, I left the copy command on. Let's do that again. So if we'll take the copy command off, and this will literally now just offset those profiles out. That's what I want to do there. So we're going to our 3D view. And I'm just going to drop this down 300 millimeters, like so. So I want to make this monolithic now. So again, I can select one of the slabs here. We'll join the two slabs together, like so. Okay, and there's my uh, section so far. What I want to do now is run some chamfers around this. So if I go to a slab edge again here, what I've actually got set up here is um, some chamfers. And what we can do here is literally just start to pick on the edge of the slab here, and you can see it puts a chamfer in. Now, I've also got a, a, a slab edge set up to create an internal chamfer as well, which will run around this edge here. So we'll use that one. And you can see it adds material in here, like so. Now, of course, by doing this, what's actually happened is, in this particular example, it's actually added another 100 millimetres to my slab. So all we actually now do is edit the uh, uh, initial boundary. Oops, let's just come out of that. I actually want to edit my opening boundary instead. So we'll go ahead and find that. Like so we'll edit this. And now all I do is I go to Offset here. We can put in 100, and we can literally just sneak these edges back 100 millimeters. And obviously now I've got the correct size. Now, again, what you're going to need to do is join these. If I uh, go and have a look at some of the sections that we've got here, let's just delete that there. Uh, what we'll do is we'll show that crop boundary, and we'll just pull this out a little bit further. 
So that's the section I'm looking at at the moment. So what we should better do is actually join this information through. So we go to join here. Now we can start to actually make sure that all these items are actually joined together. Okay, and that's all joined and you can now see again we've got a nice monolithic slab. Okay, so hopefully that's given you a little bit of information about how to um, create slab edges and the sort of things you can actually do with, that, with the slab edges, including local thickenings. Thanks very much.